The deployment process for a Skype for Business Server 2015 implementation begins with the envisioning phase. The involvement of the IT department in the project usually begins after the business decision to implement a unified communication solution has been made. Next, we'll discuss each of the deployment phases. We start with envisioning. To determine the scope and plan the implementation of a unified communication solution, such as Skype for Business Server 2015, you should implement the project in several phases. You can create one or more phases between the initial state deployment and the end state deployment based on organizational needs. The decision on phasing and how to phase your unified communications project is usually an iterative process that is based on the business and technical requirements of the organization. Next is the planning phase. During planning, you need to plan for infrastructure requirements and for any dependencies related to the basic requirements for Skype for Business Server. Based on these decisions, your plan will further evolve to include external user access and voice requirements. Decisions on external user access and voice requirements depend on the phasing decisions made in the envisioning phase. Next is the stabilizing phase. The outcome of the envisioning and planning stages is the functional specification of the design document. At this stage, you need to validate the assumptions made during planning on how users will use the Skype for Business Server 2015 solution. You also need to test and validate the technical assumptions underlying the decision solution. For example, you might need to test whether Skype for Business Server 2015 integrates well with gateways and whether the current firmware versions can coexist and work in various scenarios. Stabilizing also involves acquiring support resources and finalizing the design before you deploy the Skype for Business Server 2015 solution. Now it's on to the deployment phase. The deployment phase may vary in Skype for Business Server 2015 implementations based on the actual implementation. In some scenarios, it will include migration from previous versions of Skype for Business Server 2015. You can begin deployment by preparing Microsoft Active Directory, implementing the central management database, and then implementing the first Skype for Business Server 2015 front end server pool. In the standard edition, you need to prepare the first standard edition server that also includes the central management database. Lastly is the operation phase. You do not usually plan for operations during planning. However, identifying new operational procedures or changing existing operational procedures is an important part of the planning phase. If you identify these operational procedures during planning, your implementation will be successful because all stakeholders will have the required documentation ready and this helps smooth transitions.